Hello friends, welcome to automate Active Directory using Python series and in this video we will continue with our previous video and now we need to create some global variable. Why we need to create global variable? Let me just create and then you will understand why we need this. So let me just first variable that we need is our AD server IP address because this is somewhere here and sometime you need to set this on the top of your file so let me just add a variable called ad server ip and then here you just put your ad server ip in rpyc connect argument you can put like this right same you can use the port number so let's just take the second global variable will be our ad bot port on which port our boat is running let's just put the default one here because right now we are just running on default and put this second argument in rpyc connect okay let me just put this and zoom it a little bit so you can see better okay and the third thing which is very very important in in this application is the domain controller controller okay and this domain controller is the your uh, active directory detail your server detail so hey, let me just explain you if you haven't created your ad forest your this uh, like here you see that hqvfx.com that I already created and if you want to see this how I created this this forest this entire domain setup here you can just follow my active directory video series and that is you can find the link in the description but for now for our this video series we just need to get the domain controller name so we can put here and utilize to send commands to server so in this case our domain controller is hqvfx.com and if you write if you write hqvfx.com inside python to send command you need to type exactly what i'm typing dc equals to hqvfx okay and then a comma then dc equals to com okay in in your case if in your active directory this name will be different maybe xyz.com or maybe your company.com or your company.local it can be anything but this whenever we typing the domain controller it should be in this format otherwise you will see some errors and your application will not work and then it's not a good idea so just understand domain controller hqfx.com i just write it like that okay let's just put our other global variable that we will use frequently in our application is users ou and that is users organizational unit and as i showed you the organizational unit i created here employee so employee all is the organizational unit if you can see the type here this i want to put all my users here all right so it is much more organized otherwise your users will be put here and this portion this users the default users is for active directory reserved user which default by default ad create when you set up first time your active directory server but we uh, created this employee and this all organization unit and that but in our python code we need to access the same address if you don't provide the address your user will not go there so what is the way to write this uh, let's just follow me so you just create a variable and start with ou okay here we provide dc because we are we are typing a domain controller and now we are declaring a just organizational unit it looks like tongue twisting okay and then equals to all okay and uh, maybe just small follow the same name and then ou 
employee and here you can see the pattern first i go to the like all the way to the child where i am here like all employee all here and then employee and then you need to provide the domain controller name so domain controller we already pro uh, uh, declare here so we will just reuse that you can reuse concatenate with format and just provide domain controller okay so with that actually i am just adding these line here like this okay but we will create some more ou so that's why i'm not not using that it much more cleaner right so later on you can just change your this domain controller detail and all will be easily update and that's why we are creating these variables same way we will create uh, groups groups ou so we need to define like where our all group exists and our all group will exist inside employee groups organizational unit and here we don't have any nested uh, ou so we will just provide ou employee group group okay so we just provide organizational group and then our domain controller name okay so these global variable are important for now if you want to follow this tutorial definitely this will be very useful for you there will be many more you can set as per your convenience but you will see these variables in the coming videos so in my coming next videos i will cover how you can connect to a function right, right now it's basically we have this uh, commands we watch what we typed here but that is not a good way so we will write a send command function properly and then we will send our commands to the server so i will see you in my next video